Hello everyone, I'm Tom Crow and in today's tutorial for Crow's Place we're going to make our own Wi-Fi pineapple with only 30 euros. Uh, the Wi-Fi pineapple is basically an Alpha IP121U 82.11 BGN wireless, ra wireless router running OpenWRT which is a Linux distribution for routers and loaded with Karma, URL SNARF and DNS spo uh, spoof, just to name a few. The AP121U has one USB port, one RJ45 LAN port, one RJ45 WAN port, one antenna connector and a WPS button. It is built on the 400 MHz Atheros AR9331 shock and it ships with a 5 dBi detachable antenna and a power supply. The primary function of the device is to take advantage of the feature built into the most systems that we are using uh, to access the access points that we the Wi-Fi networks. When you are at home, uh, you can just open your laptop, and you are automatically connected to your network. In order for your computer to know that uh, the access point is close to, is close to you, uh, it is sending some probe requests. These probe requests help, help your laptop to know what to connect to. The Wi-Fi pineapple listens to these uh, po uh, probe requests and it answers uh, to all these probe requests with yes. And uh, all the networks connect automatically to, uh, to, our, uh, to our router. We, this is the Karma uh, speaking. So. Uh, we are going to buy an Alpha AP 121U and uh, a USB to UART controller. This is the two things that we are going to use. And so let's start. So this is the Alpha AP 121U and with a screwdriver we get uh, the rubber legs out of our device and with a cross screwdriver we are going to get the screws that is in the USB side out it has only two screws so we unscrew it and w we get the top of the router out. So as you see here we have uh, our opened uh, router as you see here the, this is the female uh, jumper cables that we have female to female and we put them as you see in the picture on the down, s down right side and then we attach them in the USB to UART controller. Take care because uh, we are going to leave the VDD socket or else the power socket uh, empty and we are going to connect only the TX, the RX and the ground cables. Next we are going to connect the e Ethernet cable to the POI LAN port and when I am going to say to you, you are going to connect the power cable. So here we are in our machine. And first thing to do is go to control panel and net network settings to change the IP settings of our Ethernet. Uh, we are going to go to Ethernet's Ethernet properties. And in IPv4 properties, we are going to IP forwarding and put 192, 168, 2, and 11. We're going to click OK to save it.
and the next thing to do is ch to change the change the properties for the serial COM port for the USB to UART controller which is uh, in the system and security we click the system and next the device manager as you see we're going to go to ports and in com, com for port we're going to properties and this in the second tab we are going to uh, to make the port to be 115200 all the other settings as you see we click OK and then we go out of this next thing we are going to party program I'm going to give all these programs to you and we're going to hit the serial circle then the com we're going to write COM4 in the first box and the port that we set earlier in uh, the device manager settings then in the serial menu we are going to get the, the last uh, drop down menu to none and we are going to hit connect as you see here we connect and now we are going to plug in the DC the power cable that uh, goes with uh, the alpha router now get ready, you have to push the one choice in the BIOS menu and we are ready in the serial menu so with the files that I'm going to provide you I'm going to give you a txt file with all the commands that you are going to need uh, in this txt file you, ha will, you will have all the commands and now we're going to open a tftpd server that uh, it is going uh, yes it's going to uh, to to give the factory files that you're going to download from me and uh, in the IP settings you're going to give the Ethernet IP and you're ready to go so now let's uh, type all the commands one by one I'm not going to explain to you uh, what, the go uh, what the commands are doing uh, what the each command is doing uh, it is easy to search for uh, in Google and see uh, just type each line of uh, my commands txt in your uh, uh, serial party uh, connection and uh, until the first reboot command and then you will be ready with factory settings in OpenWRT uh, the only thing just check the output to be the same uh, as mine
as you see here we have rebooted the system and uh, as the commands st stop running we hit enter and you see that the OpenWRT router is ready um, now we are going to proceed with the rest of the commands that I have provided you here you are not going to hit uh, one but you are going to leave OpenWRT to boot alone and as you see in the commands the first thing that we are going to do in the first boot we are going to change the password with the pass swd command and uh, we are uh, in my case I just changed it to TOOR, the opposite of root. Uh, the username is root, and uh, I have done this for the ease of the video. As you see here, we hit the password command we provide our password and now we're going to start the drop bear uh, just copy the command okay and now we're going to open uh, to SCP to secure copy the upgrade bin of the pineapple firmware. Uh, in my package I have the 201 firmware and the 30 firmware. The 201 the 281 firmware sorry uh, is more stable but uh, the 30 is the newer one so uh, try both of them and see what you like and uh, SCP this. I'm going to SCP the 281 firmware and we are going to put uh, to put it so this uh, just hit uh, update and in it may be give you some errors don't bother. We're going to copy it to the TMP folder just drag it in the right window of the SCP program, Win, NCP, Win SCP program. I gave you here the SCP command in the commands txt if you are using Linux so you're not going to have a problem. And now that, that we have copied it we cd to the TMP folder and we sysupgrade with the upgrade bin. After the upgrade finishes we are going to reboot and we are going to be ready with the Wi-Fi Pineapple firmware. So now as you see we have uh, the flashing of the pineapple firmware have, have finished. Um, now we are fully set, we have uh, a Wi-Fi pineapple of the 100 euros with just 30 euros. Uh, the Mark V 
is now in the uh, in the market but as you see here we have the OpenWRT and the Mark IV uh, I think that uh, 30 euros is a reasonable price for uh, a device like this and uh, we're going to learn many things as you see we have booted the device in the custom uh, made uh, OpenWRT with the Wi-Fi Pineapple firmware it continues with some commands and now we have to go to the control panel to change the IP settings of the Ethernet because now we have uh, uh, we have not the uh, 190 to 168 uh, IP sequence, but uh, we have uh, 172. So in the IPv4 settings we hit 172 16.16.42.42 and in the DNS we are going to hit 8.8.8.8 the Google so hit OK close these windows close control panel everything and if we now open a browser and head to 172.16.42.1 uh, uh, and to port 1471 this is the IP address that we're going to connect every time to go to our pineapple and hit it in the address bar now as you see we have a login window the username is root and the password default password is pineapples are yummy and we, as you see here we have connected to the pineapples main page everything is everything is working perfectly and as you see in the about we have a fully functional uh, Wi-Fi pineapple mark IV as you see the karma plugin boots perfectly and this is it thank you for watching my tutorial if you like my videos please subscribe to my subscribe to my channel like my videos and share them everything you see is for educational purposes only and uh, don't act irresponsibly thank you again and i hope to see you again goodbye